So I was a full-time college student and then my entire left side of my body was paralyzed. I then had to relearn how to walk and I had to learn how to be one-handed in a two-handed world. Nearly 10 years after a massive hemorrhagic stroke, Heather experienced a first. Heather became the first chronic stroke patient ever to recover voluntary control over her arm and hands. Every day in the U.S., 1,000 people are informed that seemingly mindless tasks are now out of reach. For these patients who have just received a chronic stroke diagnosis, about 40% of whom are under the age of 65, the options for recovery leave everyone thinking this is as good as it gets. At Reach Neuro, we've decided that this is just not good enough. Last year, our team of neuroscientists, neural engineers, and surgeons had the privilege of working with Heather and two other young chronic stroke patients to restore and recover voluntary control over their arms and hands. In all, three otherwise healthy patients were able to take control of their movements. When I have the stimulation on, it feels as if my brain is in control of my arm again. Our technology doesn't control a patient's muscles. It doesn't have to. The patient's own nervous system, their brain, evolved to do exactly this. So we just decided, why not let it do its job? And when a stroke damages the brain, it disconnects it from the rest of the body, so the signals it sends can't be heard by the muscles like they used to. The secret is we take a totally different approach. By stimulating the existing nerve circuits that send information to and from your motor system, our technology helps your own brain signals make it intact all the way to your spinal cord. Simply helps the muscles hear the brain signals once again. It's a patient's own movements, their own nervous system, their natural algorithms sending their actual signals to their arms. More isn't better here. Our proprietary electrical prescriptions are tailored to each individual's unique circuitry, but the hardware remains the same. Our patients regained intuitive control, and their joints became more flexible with a greater range of motion. We are poised to submit our IDE application by mid-year, and will launch our early feasibility study by year's end. Our clinical trials will be performed at the two best major stroke centers in the U.S. And meanwhile, we are continuing to expand our IP portfolio for device enhancements, like new lead structures and onboard movement sensors for our next generation products. These will integrate seamlessly with our core device, which today is already safely and easily implanted in over 50,000 patients every year for chronic pain. One of our patients has spent tens of thousands of dollars out of pocket on consumer devices and questionable medical procedures, one of which nearly killed him. He just wanted to take control of his treatment after he was told that he had no other options. Reach Neuro is on a mission to ensure that patients like Heather can take control of their lives. This technology is life-changing. 